Hello, it's me again for the um, for showing you about three different copies of the Bugs Bunny's third movie, 1001 Rabbit Tales. I have the first copy, 1983, the second copy is 1985, and, uh, and the other one was 1990, but it's not exactly from 1990, it's a reprint from 1994. Okay, after all I have, the third Bugs Bunny movie on DVD comes with the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie in the Looney Tunes movie collection DVD that was out on DVD in 2005, and it has the classic 14... Carrot fairy tales told by your favorite rabbit in this full-length movie starring all the gang. This is I showed you earlier from the other video, like my previous update video. Yep. This is the 1983 original release. Yep. And this one, the reason why this is original, it has a Warner Home Video UPC code in black. But not the blue. The lighter blue didn't made it till 1984 or something like that. Did you know in the 1990 reissue of the third Bugs Bunny movie, the cut like a little part when, when, when Granny says pal right in the kisser and Porky Pig says uh, you want to play, huh? After that treaty bird uh, names in there, all that treat, all 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 that putty catch up to something, and then Sylvester Jr. came in there. I want a mouse. That was the part was cut out in the 1990 reissue of it on VHS, because I I'm the one I rented it out back in 1995. Yep. This has the uh, Warner Home Video blue label on there. Mm-hmm. This is the exact duplicate, but a different copy. I always love this third Bugs Bunny movie. Bugs Bunny's third movie, 1001 Rabbit Tales. Yep. And this sticker label is from 1985. And the best part about this, it has Made in USA. Mm hmm. Pretty soon in the future, I'm going to show you all my Looney Tunes VHS tapes. Yep. And this is the, um, the 1990 reissue without the third movie sign on there. Yep. This is the actually a 1994 reprint of this. Yep. And this copy of the, th uh, the third Bugs Bunny movie on VHS is a uh, sticker label from 1994. And it says print date on, on July 27, 1995. And you know this copy of the, of the Bugs Bunny's Thousand One Rabbit Tales doesn't have the third movie on it. It says Bugs Bunny's Thousand One Rabbit Tales. And, and you know, this is the telecast version when it was shown on TBS. They cut that part off when, Bo when Daffy Duck was with the, uh, with, with the stuffed duck. That was the part was cut out. I mean, like, the part of the cartoon. And they also cut out Goldie Mouse and the three cats. Because they, they want to put time with the, uh, some deleted scene was never shown in the theatrical release. The deleted scene when Bugs Bunny and Prince Abadabra were fighting on the couch. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, no, there ain't. And also, they have the Wolf in Sheep's Clothing story, yep. With, with one of the characters named Ralph and Sam. Yep. Ralph and Sam, yep. Ralph the, uh, where? Ralph the Coyote, that was like referring to Y.E. Coyote. And Sam the Sheepdog, yep. They were in the Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. That was the part was cut out from the theatrical release. Yep. But in the theatrical release, they have that Daffy Duck cartoon short uncut. And Goldie Mouse and the Three Cats. Yep. Also, they show some cartoon shorts on this, uh, in this movie. Like Hansel and Gretel 1 with Bugs Bunny Say was with the Hazel Witch. Then it's the, um... 
Tweety Riding Hood and uh, and One Froggy Evening with the Hello My Baby, Hello My Honey with the Michigan Frog. I always loved this third Bugs Bunny movie. As a matter as a matter of fact, I liked all the other Looney Tunes movies were made in the early eighties. Especially like Looney 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 Bugs Bunny movie in nineteen eighty one when it had three little bobs, yep. Ninety night bugs uh and birds anonymous. Yep. And Showbiz Bugs. Those are the ones that are made by directed by Freeze Feeling. Yep. You see, in the future, I'm going to show you all my Looney Tunes VHS tapes, like the 24 Carriage Collection and the feature length movies all together. Hello. Pretty soon we're going towards the new year of 2021. Yep. I always loved this third Bugs Bunny movie, and you know the character of Prince Abadabber kindly talks like Jerry Lewis. I found that out right on the website. Yep. But to me, I think he, I think he talks kind of like Red Buttons. I only like Red Buttons and Peach Dragon in 1977 Disney film. Yep, and the character of Abadabber, it was like referring to the character named Junior from the 1958 uh, Melly Melody's cartoon short of ragged, rag, wiggity tail, when he has a bad dream when, when he's a dog, after he, treats that, do, after he uh, treats that dog bad, yep, Dawes Butler does that voice, the same Dawes Butler does Yogi Bear and uh, Huckleberry Hound and all the Hanna-Barbera characters, he started it, and also, um, And also, they have one of the actual voices in it. Arthur Q. Ryan could be alive in 1982, but they have his name on there right on the ending card. June Foray was there, but it's not in the actual movie, but they had June Foray was in the actual cartoon shorts. Mel Blanc was the best cartoon voice actor of all times. Yep, for Bugs and Daffy and all those, cart all those cartoon characters, Mel Blanc created the voice. Did they say he's a man of a thousand voices? And also Lenny Reimer plays the voice of Prince Abadabba. The same Lenny Reimer uh, plays the uh, H.L. Puff and stuff voice back in the late 1960s. Yep. And he was one of the actual voices from Bed Noms and Broomsticks. Sometimes Lenny Reimer had small parts like on the Dick Van Dyke show. Yep. I liked, I, I always loved Thousand and One Rabbit Tales. And did you know, I, I saw this the first time when I was about six, about seven years old. It was on the Disney Channel, with, along with Looney, 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 Bugs Bunny movie. When I first found that scene with the, with the wolf in sheep's clothing, that was not in those, it was not in the 1983 VHS or 1990, but it, it was uh, in the 1994 reprint of it, yep. And that that's uh, and you know I think I found that Wolf in Sheep's Clothing deleted scene that was originally in a telecast when it was on CBS back in 1985, and I found it on the Family Channel in October of 1995 when I was 11 years old, when they showed with the Bugs Bunny Road Run the movie that day as a double feature, and it was a good old days back in my childhood of these Warner Bros. cartoons. Yep. And also it has Alibaba Bunny in it, that was from 1957, but Bugs and Daffy were in Arabian Cave. Yep. And they show uh, Alibaba Bunny the completely in the Bugs Bunny Road Runner movie in 1979. Too bad Walt Disney couldn't do this, and you know how much I like Walt Disney. Yep. And even Max Fleischler with Betty Boop and Popeye. So I guess that wraps it up for the three different copies of the a Bugs Bunny's third will be 1001 Rabbit Tales. We'll see you again next time for more of the of different VHS copies. But till then, stay safe and happy New Year. Thank you. And uh, and that's all, folks.